Hello friends, this is Erin Ware and I'm going to show you my fountain pen collection today. Um, I have been using fountain pens for over a decade. I bought my first one, this one, in 2013. Um, I remember because it was when I was engaged to my husband. So I remember specifically like <laughs> it was for my birthday and I bought it at Sam Flax in Atlanta. Um, yeah, so I have collected these over a decade, but most of them were purchased within the last five years, I guess, um, for the, for at, le at least until 2018, I had only these two and I basically only used this one. I, I was in grad school from like 2015 to 2018 and I, I pretty much only used this pen, except it wasn't this pen. It was a different one. <laughs> It was the same pen. I ended up misplacing it or losing it or whatever and then could not find it and I was bitter about it for years until I finally just replaced it just like a, a few months ago and I am so happy. I feel like I don't know why this pen is so special to me because it's definitely out of the ones that I have which are not very pricey pens. Um, this one is my favorite and it's one of the cheapest so i don't know i don't think it matters so much how much they cost it's just like finding the right pen for you <laughs> so so i'm not a i wouldn't call myself a collector i'm not i don't spend a lot of money on my pens i have a couple of pens that are in like the pricier range that maybe one day i'd like to have um as like a gift maybe like something I get for myself for like a special accomplishment or something, but they're not, it's not like a big need of mine. Um, I like for my pens to work. I like to enjoy using them. I like for them to look like attractive to me. And, um, I don't want to be too precious with them because I'm not very precious with my things. I want to use them. So that's, those are my priorities when it comes to my pens. I, I do know, and it's kind of funny because I don't really plan it this way, but I basically have the same, pen, <laughs> the same pens, like the same, um, brands over and over again. Like I, I go to the same type of pen and I, I think that's for a couple reasons. I'm comfortable with them and the price point is right for me and I don't know I'm I just know them so I have three Quebecos here and four Lamy's I'm gonna say Lamy 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 or who knows I I mean somebody knows I don't know <laughs> but sorry if I'm not saying it the right way and then I have a Twisby um I'd say out of these pens I think the Twisby might be my least favorite even though it's it's a good pen. It's such a popular pen. Um, it holds a ton of ink and it writes well all the time. I think the reason why I don't love it so, so much is because it's very big to me. I feel like it's just a big pen. And then um, the nib is very firm and doesn't have any give really. And so, um, I don't know it's just not it's not my fave but I still like it I have some other pens that I've just gotten rid of because I didn't like them and if you want to know what those were they were a Pilot Prera and a Caveco uh, P word I'll have to get back to you on that um, and those are that's because those pens for whatever reason kept drying out and I couldn't keep any ink to stay like I couldn't keep them flowing so Anyways, I'm going to swatch these for you or just like write with them, show you what I have in them so you can see the inks. Um, I don't change out my inks a whole lot. And so I'm not going to do this kind of video very often. It, I mean, it pretty much will stay the same. Um, so actually, I'm going to use a different. This ink, which I'll tell you about seems to bleed a little bit on this new Tomoe River paper. So I'm going to use this one. We're just going to do ink swatches. Okay. So, um, the one that I'm, the ink that I'm using in this pen, which is an 
extra fine nib. This is the um, let me Safari charcoal color, which I'll probably write that down eventually, but um, it's the Diatramentus document black ink, which I highly recommend. I love it. Um, okay, so here's the thing. I am not sure I'm going to get the names of these pens right, or at least exactly right. Um, this one is like, I'm just going to call it light blue. It was one of the special editions a few years ago. I think it's like a macaron color or whatever. And then this is a fine nib. And this ink is Papier Plume Moss Green. It's this one. I got it down for you. Um, this I bought in New Orleans at Papier Plume. And um, this is one of my, I've had this ink for years and years and it's one of my favorites and I'll be very sad when I finish it. I actually don't know for sure if they still sell this color. I think they do. Um, I don't know. Okay. What's next? I'm gonna go with a different green. This is the Caveco. Oh, did I spell that wrong? I think I did. It's A. And it's the student. And I think it's swing, but it's the green one. So, <laughs> I don't know what that's called. I think it's swing. I could be wrong. And this is a fine nib. And this ink is, um, feels like it's kind of drying up. Um, it's the Platinum Forest Black. This is one of the inks that's kind of like, I think it's like oxidizing or I think it's an iron gall ink. I'm not really sure, but it has, um, it does, I think it darkens over time, um, and it's really pretty. Um, not much darker, I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. Um, what's next? I'm gonna do this one. So, Lamy Safari, Savannah Green. I live in Savannah. I think I'm spelling that wrong, but I've seen it spelled like that in shops. Um, if they mean the Savannah, like in Africa, like a land, a type of land, um, or a type of, you know, ecosystem, I think that's a different spelling, but I'm just going to spell it like that. <laughs> and then the ink is, um, this one. Uh, Diamine Steel Blue. And go to the Twisby. Um, what's this? Echo T. I don't know what this is. I think it's an extra fine. It's down. It's, I think it's on there, but it's down. It's tucked in. <laughs> so, um, I don't know what this is. I think it's light blue. It's old. Um, and then in the here, okay. So here, okay. I have two inks in here. I have Hiroshizuku Tsuyu Kusa and, and, um, let me do a little this and i have also manio let's see sailor manio haha -ha. and what i what i i don't know i just switch i just kind of fill it with that these are kind of similar in color this one's a bit more opaque and brighter and less purple 
And this one is, you know, really pretty like shades of blue and purple, very light. And I'm sure you've, well, this one is discontinued and this one is very popular. So, um, but I find that I like them mixed together. I like, it's like the best of both worlds. And so I often mix them together to make this color. Um, the Haha. -ha. Manuhaha on its own can be a little hard to read, especially in a finer nib. I think I covered all the bases there. And let's see what I have left. I've done those. And that one. So this one, this is going to be interesting. I think, let's see. I think this might be running out of ink um, or it could be just I haven't used it in a while um, this is not a safari this is an all-star uh, I messed that up okay all star I feel like I need to I think this pen might need to be cleaned out Ooh, it's very low Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, I think that it just was dried out. <laughs> so, there we go. Um, that's not a very good indication of the color, but here, this is better. And what this is, is private selections. Pri no, sorry. What's private selections? I think that's a... <laughs> Publix brand, <laughs> grocery store brand, private reserve ink, gray flannel. This I've had for years, probably a decade. I bought this to go with this pen, I think, um, like not too long after I bought it. And it it's a huge bottle. <laughs> so it's, it's still, um, uh, almost halfway full at least a third full. Let's see. Um, I cannot tell you whether you can um, buy this or not. I'm going to probably guess not. I don't think they sell this anymore. Um, but it has, it is pretty, it has, it's hard to see probably on camera, but it has the slightest bit of like blue green in the gray and so sometimes I'll add a little bit of something um, to kind of emphasize that I like to play <laughs> I like to play with colors I'm not a purist when it comes to these things um, this pen was a gift and uh, I wouldn't have purchased a broad nib for myself that's what this is it's um, Uh, sport, I think it's Giotto, I have no idea, is that how you spell that? And the broad nib, and this is, this was a sample, I love it, I wish I had a bottle, but um, I've had a hard time, I, don't, I haven't like looked a, a whole lot, but um, I've had trouble trying to find this as a bottle. It's Nagasawa Kobe number 54. And I'm going to have to go to a separate line. Um, Goshiki Yama Ochre. Yeah, I got this sample from Yuseka, and um, it's dried out. I think the bottle isn't sealed properly, and so even though I had a little bit left, it's like gunky, which is very disappointing. Um, uh, but I probably left it too close to the window. Um, not in the sunlight, but still. There's that. Last one, I think sort of. 
Okay, so this is the, everybody knows it, it's, I cannot write and talk at the same time. Um, brass sport. This is a fine nib. And I have in it this one, um, Venta. Oh, I didn't do a little. La Paz. Um, yeah, I, I love this color. It's, it's a good, like, yellow gold color for, um, writing. Like, it, you can see, see it. It doesn't hurt your eyes, and you can read it. It's very legible. So, the last one, which you've already seen, um, is this. This is my newest pen, because I replaced it. <laughs> I think this is an extra fine and it's document black. Now that I think about it, I have one more pen, which I will go get to show you because it's not, it's not right here. Um, but before I do that, I'll show you the bottle. Diagramentus Document Ink Black. I highly recommend this. I use this for drawing and um, writing, and I, you can't, right away you have to let it dry, but you can, you know, paint over it, you can highlight over it. I have the Platinum Carbon Ink. I love the Platinum Carbon Ink. Um, it's right here. I've used a lot of it, and I would also recommend this ink. I think the main difference is this one feels a little heavier, like a heavier like pigment, and it also takes longer to dry. And I find that sometimes um, it it almost never quite dries. Maybe it's the type of paper, but highlighting over this has not been successful for me. And this, I don't know, this works. For me, it works better. I know everybody has different opinions. Let me go get the last pen. Okay, it's the MD Paper Products pen. And I have the same ink in it. It's a, it's like a, it's like a medium fine, I think. They, they only have one size nib in this pen. And then it's the same. I'm not even attempting to write like neatly for you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, I just feel like, I don't know if you want to sit there and watch me write. I feel like I'm rushed for some reason. So here are, this is like everything that I have inked at the moment. I think I'll probably take some still images to um, hopefully get the colors a little bit better because I think um, they're not showing up very well on camera. But um, anyways, that's it. Let me know if you have any questions and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I find that I um, have not been subscribed to people I thought I was because YouTube kept like showing their videos to me and I assumed I had subscribed but I wasn't so anyway if you would so like you know if you would like to <laughs> then subscribe I'll see you next week with uh another video and I hope you have a great week okay bye bye